All right. And with that, we are going to head back to the interview area with Blecky and the Mexican runner. I'm your VGS. And coming up, we'll hear from Purple Ghost Casper after the interview. Hey, everybody. That was another very cool run. I hadn't seen that game Chippy before, but very cool stuff. Um, so moving right along, I am jealous of nobody but myself right now because I am here with the one, the only, the Mexican runner. How are you doing today? Hello, Blecky. I'm doing fine. Um, yeah, just enjoying the event. It yeah. has been really awesome. Um, and yeah, that's it. Glad, glad to hear, yeah. <laughs> it's been an awesome event so far. Um, so, I mean, I want to kick it off because you're going to be doing Adventure Island 2 in a little bit. Now, for the, I'm sure most of you out there know it, but this man has completed every um, NES game released in the U.S., so I want to hear from you. Of you, you've played literally everything. You could submit everything. What made you decide for this marathon to submit Adventure Island 2? Well, as you know, every runner is able to submit five games. So among those five games, it was Adventure Island 2. And it's a game that uh, I have submitted previously. But uh, I believe it has never been shown in a Games on Quick event. And it looks really amazing because it's so colorful. So it's also really fast, and you can ride dinosaurs. So oh, it's yeah. just like a perfect game. Uh, it looks very similar to Super Mario Bros. Uh, in a way that it's just like running and jumping, but uh, with the little uh, Hudson Soft uh, touch. Yeah, yeah, very much so. Mr. Hudson, Master Wiggums? Is Master, Master Wig Higgins. Master Higgins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Master Higgins. That's the man. Um, yeah, so I mean, even narrowing it down further, you, you could have also submitted Adventure Island 1 or 3. Why 2 specifically of, of that series? Well, uh, no offense to all the other games and runners of the other games, but I, I feel like Adventure Island 2 is, uh, is the best looking one out of the NES. And I got to play it as a kid together with Adventure Island 1 and 3, but it's still like 2 is, has been my favorite. And when I pick it up for the 12-hour challenge that I was doing, um, it was really, it felt really great. It just, I was impressed with the game and it was very difficult, so it made a click on yeah. me. Very cool, yeah. I mean, it makes it, it, there's a lot that's different from the first one, such as the dinosaurs you mentioned. And with that comes the question, like, you have to adapt a bit more than you might have to in the first one, because if you lose a dinosaur, you might have to change things up a little bit. Is that an issue for you coming into this game? It's a very big issue, because uh, as a speedrunner, you're used to play the game the only way you play it with your actual strats. So losing a dinosaur, like, it changes your speed, and you're... Your attack is different because the axe comes from a little higher up and it's not as effective and quick as the tail with the blue dinosaur, for example. So, yeah, it changes a lot and also many things that could go potentially wrong, like I have to just adjust on the fly. That's why the estimate is, is generous, mm. but not really. Got it. Cool, cool. Um, I want to actually change it up a bit. I want to talk a little bit about just your general um, kind of time that you've spent at GDQs. Do you, do you know how many GDQs you've been to so far? My first one was in 2014, and I mainly uh, have uh, assisted to Awesome Games on Quick. So it should be like five plus this, six, and once I was at Summer Games on Quick, so seven. Got it, so se seven. seven. So what keeps you kind of coming back to these events? Well, I came this time, it's the lucky seven, so I'm, uh, I'm going to get lucky this GDQ, <laughs> I know it. <laughs> and what makes me keep coming back is just um, all the people who do speed runs um, and that I watch online, and I have been watching for a few years, all of them are coming here. And I can say, like, all of them are my friends, so this is a very good place uh, where we can meet, uh, talk about games, uh, share some life experiences, gaming experiences, and uh, hang out. Yeah, so it's, for sure. It's really but magical. I, I mean, I absolutely love hanging out with people uh, here as well, just because, like, it's easy to forget that there's so much going on behind the scenes. So now that it's the first one here in Orlando, we've always been in D.C. in the past for AGDQs. Um, what kind of things have you been doing here in Orlando? Well, I had to practice my game, so <laughs> um, my friends went to Universal mm. yesterday, but I was just like watching pictures. 
On my phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, we're going to actually go to uh, like a medieval dinner. Mm -hmm. Well, it's like a show, but uh, yeah, um, many other stuff. They want to go to uh, like uh, arcade uh, retro bar. So, well, it's going to be interesting. And the weather is nice. I, I personally love swimming, so the hotel has a swimming pool, so I'm swimming every day. It's, gotcha. it's just really nice. Nice. I got to join you one of those days. Yeah, yeah. That's so cool. And um, we actually have a few questions um, from you guys out there. So let's go ahead with those. So first up we have from WSOX UK asks, the Mexican runner, how are you so good at so many different speed runs? Um, well, I will say that uh, it helps me that I'm a musician and I like study music for a long time because uh, in music you need to be able to, to tell differences um, on how to pick up songs uh, fast. And I had like very good short-term memory that, uh, well, I, I developed uh, by playing music. Like, I was hearing a melody and I, it was just in my head immediately. So I believe, like, when you start speedrunning a game, like, uh, memorization is a good ability that uh, it helps you out. I don't have a, like, names memorization, but I have a very good uh, location-wise. So many times I don't even need a map and I know exactly where I am or where I have to go or at least how to go back to the previous place that I was. Mm. So I, I think that uh, ability to be able to to see many things, uh, I have like a peaky eye that I can see like bosses patterns, immediately grasp them. And uh, somehow I'm, I'm able coordinating to what is going on in the actual game. I get very familiarized with the game mechanics immediately. So that helps me out to be good at uh, speedrunning games. And also I have the patience of a saint. Ah. That's, that's what people say. I mean, but definitely to become a speedrunner, you have to be patient. Um, I personally like NES games, so that's why I always right. am there. Very cool. Awesome. You guys have sent in so many questions. Thank you. Unfortunately, we're out of time here we, when the setup for the next run is done. So we're going to go ahead and move on to Crotel Renovations by the Boix, who was uh, here interviewed not long ago. So thank you so much, TMR. Can't wait for Adventure Island 2. And uh, let's check out Crotel Renovations. And let's check out Crot. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be good stuff. <laughs> 